Hi friends, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. I had tons of things to get done in this video, some cleaning and some organization. I'm also going to be including a really awesome dinner recipe at the end of this video, so definitely stick around so you don't miss it. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting off today's cleaning video by throwing a load of laundry into the wash. I am choosing to start with bed sheets because I don't know how long it had been since I had done these. Let me know in the comments if you guys do your bed sheets on a rotation or the same day every single week. Sometimes I go a week and a half or two weeks without washing my bed sheets since I do shower at night. But I wanna know if you guys stay on a schedule and how you do it because I feel like this is the one thing that I am not very good at doing regularly. left a load of towels and microfiber cloths in the dryer from the night before so I'm just gonna real quick fold those up and you will see me using a combination of my own type of folding and also the KonMari method I don't have very many drawers in my kitchen and so I like to make sure that they will all fit in the space that I do have use microfibers let me know where you get yours from I love the ones from the Grove collaborative I think that they are so soft really absorbent and do the job really well but I've heard some great things about different types of microfibers like some you can buy on Amazon and things like that so if there is one that is better than the one I can get from Grove and for a lot less then definitely let me know where you get yours in the comments in serious need of organization. I had some Christmas ones that had creeped its way to the top of the pile, and so I decided to organize them into three separate piles. I have seasonal towels, like ones for Thanksgiving and Christmas and things like that. I have dish towels on one pile and then hand towels on the other, and this made it so much easier, and now when I open up the drawer, I can just grab and I don't have to think about it. Deep down, deep down, and it's not a I can hide anyone else strongly dislike unloading the dishwasher it is seriously one of my least favorite things to do but I know that it has to be done and I'm just really trying the best that I can here to make sure that everything is put away in the correct spot and organized I would love to make an organization video of my kitchen for you guys really soon I definitely need to declutter some things and maybe reorganize things a little bit better so let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if you would like to see a kitchen organization video I also have some really new cool gadgets in the kitchen that I have been using to store stuff so I would be happy to share those too definitely hit the like button if you want to see that tried and true kitchen sink product is got to be the barkeeper soft cleanser it does the best on stainless steel and I'm sure that you guys have noticed by now that I have a different kitchen faucet if you guys have seen some of my previous cleaning videos then you may notice that it has changed and I just changed this out a few days ago and I am absolutely in love with this faucet it is a very cute farm style look I love the oil rubbed bronze it matches all of my cabinet knobs and poles and not to mention the water flow is incredible and it 
just definitely needed to be upgraded. The other one I had a really hard time controlling the water pressure with and I didn't feel like it did a great job of getting my dishes clean when I would rinse them in the sink, but this one is amazing and I love how low the spout is in the sink. It helps to keep water from splattering all over the countertops as well. I will definitely link this down below in the description box. I got it from Wayfair and I know that if you guys are looking for a similar style, you will love this one. I am running for you I am running for you I am running for you If it gets too dark Let me know in the comments what you're doing while you're watching this cleaning video. I love to know if you guys are cleaning along with me or if you're just sitting and watching. I want to know what my subscribers are doing while you guys are watching this video. And also, as I'm watching this back and doing my voiceover, I find it so funny that I stack my chairs like this on top of the table. I know that I used to work in food, and so at the end of a shift, when the restaurant would close for the night, we would always put the chairs on top of the tables like this. So it definitely reminds me of those days. You guys know that I love my Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner, but I also love this all-purpose cleaner from the Grove Collaborative. I always have my referral code linked in the description box, but this works so well to save on plastic waste. You just dump this little container into a glass bottle, fill it with water, and you have a whole bottle of multi-surface cleaner, and all you used was a tiny little bit of plastic for that concentrate. And I love the way these smell. They are used with essential oils and definitely my favorite. I still want you, I do Baby, can't you see Another favorite from the Grove Collaborative are these caddies that I use to store my cleaning products in to clean my bathrooms. It just makes it really easy to grab what I need and get started on the bathrooms. I'm also going to move on to taking out the trash, which is another one of my least favorite chores. Let me know in the comments what your least favorite chore is. taken everything out from under the sink to install the new faucet so here I'm just putting everything back and this was a great opportunity to organize under the sink a little bit it was an absolute mess beforehand so you'll see me play with a few different things until I figured out exactly what I wanted and I ended up actually cutting off the flaps of the trash bag box I just found it so much easier to get the trash bags out this way so it wasn't in my way every time I went to grab one and I love the way that this turned out when I was finished and I'm going to remake my bed now that the sheets are all clean and I apologize for this lighting on this particular day it was really gloomy outside and so it was not super bright in the bedroom I had every single light on so if it looks dark then that's why
Halfway through cleaning, I needed a little bit of motivation to finish up, so I'm using this doTERRA Rollerball in the Encouraging Blend. I put this on my pressure points, on my wrists, and um, a little bit behind my ears just to get me through the last bit of cleaning. We are moving on to bathrooms next. I'm gonna give everything a really good wipe down and I am using one of those concentrates from the Grove Collaborative here. Make sure if you're using a antibacterial spray that you let it sit before wiping it down. Sleeping in the back of a van, roaming in the wilderness. We don't ever need a plan. We'll be all right, just you and I. Singing from the top of a lungs, dancing by the lakeside. Gonna do it while we're young. In a moment it will all be gone. Understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I Another one of my favorite things about these concentrates from Grove Collaborative is that they are made with essential oils, so it does not smell like you have just cleaned in your bathroom when you are spraying things down. It really smells like a candle is lit or like you are diffusing essential oils. It is much more pleasant than a nasty cleaning smell. my last cleaning video then you probably saw the hack that I shared on how to deodorize your toilet brush cleaner if you use one very similar to me but definitely go and check out that video if you haven't I will have it linked in the description box there are a lot of really useful hacks in there if you like to use essential oils like I do a million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights and as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you, yeah. When the sun goes down. I always let my robot vacuum take care of the floors downstairs, but for the hallway upstairs and the staircase, I like to use my trusty Swiffer duster, and sometimes I'll go back in with a wet cloth as well. And I know I never share myself cleaning this upstairs bathroom, but let me know in the comments if you'd like me to share at least what the bathroom looks like. I am very excited at some point to be able to share before and afters of what this bathroom does look like, so let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. I also have to use a regular vacuum on the two rooms upstairs that have carpet so I am just giving it a quick vacuum and then we are going to move on to my favorite part of this video which is getting the living room clean and decorating it for spring slash summer. Something about you, yeah.
are new that I am playing with to decide if this is how I like it. I take forever to decorate because I always change things up a thousand times and I cut like half of this footage so you guys did not have to watch me deliberate on every single position of each item that I put on the table. And I'm still not 100% sure if this is how I'm going to leave it and I didn't put anything on the second shelf either so I might have to go back and add a few things. Let me know in the comments if you think there's anything I should add to this or if there's anything else that you would recommend. You left me running taken all of the spring and Easter stuff down a while ago and I went ahead and vacuumed out this whole fireplace area and cleaned it pretty well and this little thing inside of the fireplace is a box that I already had and some wood and this is just what I came up with because I didn't want to leave the decoration that I already had in there and I'm really enjoying the way that this looks and a lot of this decor that I got this year is from the hearth and hand collection at Target I just absolutely love that line and so this greenery here I got from there and and a couple of other things but I'm just kind of playing to see how I like it and again I'm not sure if any of this stuff is going to stay I will probably change it a hundred times between now and the end of summer to this you guys will have to go and follow me over on Instagram so you can see what this looks like at nighttime I definitely post things more on a daily basis over on there so make sure that you are following me but I really love the way that this turned out I think it looks super simple I didn't want to overdo it for summer I think sometimes a little bit less is more you guys this super simple dinner recipe that I made the other night if you don't like fish then this probably wouldn't be for you but if you do then this is a Parmesan crusted tilapia in this bowl here I just mix some breadcrumbs Parmesan oregano garlic any other spices or seasonings that you want to use and then I took my fish and just coated it on both sides before putting it into a baking dish this took somewhere between 12 to 15 minutes to cook fish doesn't usually take that long and then on the side with this we have had a salad and some potatoes and it was the absolute most delicious thing that I had had in a really long time. I've been holding on I wouldn't let you go Cause every time I try you find a loophole I've been slamming the door and just leave you This is how it turned out once it came out of the oven. It was super easy, it took less than 20 minutes, and it was very delicious. And that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.